<laughs> so basically, most of these animals in here have been abandoned after the hurricane. And they've been left on the street with their homes. And some of them have been chained on small piece of two feet chains and, you know, leave really with no food or water. So that's where we step in and try to give them a second chance in life. Vijay explained to us that the entire roof of the shelter was lost during Irma, now leaving animals with little protection from any storm. That's why we really need a really nice big facility, very doable, strong. Because, you know, we live, in, we live in the tropical islands, hurricanes, you know, you could, we could have the same thing this year again. You know, a couple of months time we could have Irma number two, and it could be worse. So we need to get somewhere safe so these animals could, could be safe as well. Each time Ariel visits the BVI, we directly change lives by bringing animals back to the United States for adoption. So we are taking our next batch of puppies home today, and uh, this amazing man um, saved these sweet puppies and is going to tell us the story. So where did you find them? Uh, one of my guys found them at the dumpster at the back of the parking lot at the marina where we work. Badly injured, had uh, been hit by a sharp object, possibly a machete, and had to have surgery and a pin. When they aren't good, they need to get off the island and get to a place where they're going to be loved. Well, if you want to love one of these sweet puppies, they are available. We've got some really powerful redemption stories for the puppies that have been adopted so far. These two were not meant to die in a dumpster. So, if you want to give them a great home, message us. Thank you.